Well, hello, hello, hello. It's me, Sir Reginald Putin Pop the Third, and it's the lovely, the lovely Steve Punk Library. Look at her right there with a crazy scarf. Yes, we're, we're going Hoovian today. She's <laughs> trying to win some nerd points That's off right. you nerds out there. <laughs> we have a Tom Baker scarf. That means we're but, cool, right? Yeah. So, however, today I'm, we're all about Sherlock Holmes. I'm staticky today. Instead of Doctor Who. Look well, at my beard. It's going it crazy. It's winter here. Wah! <laughs> so. Today we are giving away an advanced reader copy of The Lazarus Machine by oh, Paul Machine. Crilly. And Paul Crilly? Paul Crilly. 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 Um, so this is a, a fun little rollicking tale, as you would say. Um, and it is hopefully... Does it rollick off the rails into excitement? It does. And it, really wild things. <laughs> all kinds of like fun banter, and it's a Sherlockian universe. Ooh. And this is a Tweed and Nightingale adventure, which is hopefully the first of a series, I think. Oh, yeah. So, all right. So what we did for the contest, and I'm going to borrow your hat. Oh, oh dear. Now you're very staticky. Now, look at me. I'm a mad scientist. <laughs> is I we asked the people, blood people, um, what their favorite depiction of Sherlock Holmes was, and many people, of course, said the books are the ultimate. You can't compare to that. What? But we did get a lot of love for the new uh, Guy Ritchie movies with Robert Downey Jr. As Guy Holmes. Ritchie? Yes. Wasn't he the one that was uh, accused of stabbing with OJ? <laughs> Am no. I getting my people mixed up? Yes. <laughs> okay. All this time traveling. Guy Ritchie was married to Madonna. Oh, was he now? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Both so, of you. We, got, we had the Robert Downey Jr. movies. Mm -hmm. We had some love for uh, Basil Rathbone. Doc. Back in the day, he had a big nose. He did. He did quite well. Um, Jeremy Brett as well in the old PBS series that we used to watch, oh. as well as the brand new uh, BBC Sherlock series with Benedict Cumberbatch oh. as Sherlock. And someone also brought up um, Elementary. I think is the new American version of kind of that Sherlock thing. With uh, I think Lucy Liu plays Watson, so there's a female Watson. Kill your television. <laughs> That's right. So you can tell we're not really up on this, I'm guessing. And what was neat was that because people brought up things that I had not seen before, like apparently Rupert Everett played Sherlock Holmes in a, in a movie, like a TV movie. So now I have something to look for. He brought up somebody I don't even know. <laughs> no, Rupert. He was in a, the I Bury the Living newer was versions, I, be I believe. There was a I new might, version might of I Bury the Living. I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway. We'll I we my favorite check. Sherlock Holmes. Let me get my word in. Oh, can I say one last thing? Someone oh, yes. did bring up Sherlock Hound, the Sherlock anime Sherlock Hound. Hound as a as a good. That representation. sounds like a furry thing to me. <laughs> well, so I'm sorry. What was yours? My favorite is the inimitable Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. It was a really crappy anime <laughs> film. Not a film. It was Seriously. a whole series. Here's a clip for you. I didn't even know we were going to have a clip. And we're back. So we have Watson as an automaton and Lestrade yeah. and all kinds of crazy stuff. It was, it was actually really bad. <laughs> all right. So. How many entries did we have? Did uh, we have lots we and We had, lots? I think, nine or ten. So many thanks to all. Congratulations, well, guys. Thanks a lot. And I know now you only work for over five entries. That's right. If I so, don't get over five entries, I stay at home. That's right. Playing with my steam pipe. <laughs> so just wait. <laughs> all right. So here we go. We have, oh my gosh. They're leaping out of there. Look at that. We only have one copy to give away. So, are you going to... I'm putting my magic on are it. Are you? Alright. Alright. Go for it. Alright. So tell me... That one. This one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright. What do we have? We Who have... won the book? Laura Morrigan. Laura Morrigan. Congratulations, Morgan. Oh, and this is the one who brought up Rupert Everett, so I shall read it. Well, it's a tardy. Well, I love Robert Downey Jr. for his older, disheveled Holmes, the mad inventor, and Benedict Cumberbatch for his young, modern, almost Asperger-style inability to understand <laughs> his friends despite his intelligence. Wow. <laughs> and his use of the memory palace. I do have a lasting fondness for my old favorite of Rupert Everett in the case of the stilts. Case of the silk stocking. Silk stocking. <laughs> the stilt stocking. Silk stocking. <laughs> With his urbane, world weary charm and casual references to taking heroin, as did the old Holmes, he what? really captured that unapproachable, self contained enigma that was Holmes. That was sort of my 90s persona. I had a casual 
casual urbane, taking, weary, yeah, casual urbane, you know, taking of methad methadrine. <laughs> methadrine. <laughs> it it really impressed the ladies. I'm sure it did. It also aged you considerably. I'm right? only 32. <laughs> well, thank you to everyone who entered. Congrats to Laura. We shall get this out to you soon. And soon we are going to have another giveaway. Uh, it's going to be Mike Resnick's The Doctor and the Rough Rider. And I know you like Mike Resnick. I love Trip Resner. <laughs> he can never get his name right. Mm -hmm. So many thanks to everybody, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye, folks. Bye.